one of designing the tutorial yarn barf all over my lap. Good times. Is anybody else like right into the band soup? <laughs> or is it just me? Like, I don't know. I, it, it really helps my cold. It helps me feel warm inside. So, yeah. But I, I jazz mine up a little bit. I, cut, I break mine in half. Oops. And, of course, there's little bits that go all over the place because, you know, it's just one of those things. Ugh. And then I put two packages in here. But I don't put the two packages of the little uh, pack flavor packet. I just put one in. I like more noodles <laughs> than, than juice. So I put a packet in. <clears throat> and then just to be extra, because I am extra, I get a little bit of ginger, like um, powdered ginger. And I put some of the, whoops, okay, that's a lot, but that's okay. It's good for you. <clears throat> and then I get um, some five spice. You can get this at pretty much any store. This is extremely potent stuff, so you only need like one shake. And then I get some sesame oil, and I just put a, li a little bit. You don't need a lot. And, oh, oh. Heck. It must be a cat. Ugh, of course. Ugh, I can't see anything, but I guess she can. So, anyways, and then I just put that in there and I let it boil. And then it's just, ugh, it really helps because <clears throat> my cold is just kicking me in the butt. So, yeah, and then I just let that cook. And then you play the game of how do I get the noodles in the cup without spraying them all over the place. Oh, <laughs> well, you're going to make a little bit of a mess anyway. Yeah. And then you play slap your chin with the noodle. Wait a minute. Okay, that sounds bad. But, well. Mm. Yum. Okay, so I've made a decision. I really, I don't think I'm going to be able to get the full tutorial out for the collab that I'm doing with Jennifer on the first. Um, if there just wasn't enough time to prepare for this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do it in a series. Okay, so I'm going to put out however many videos it takes to <clears throat> to do this tutorial. Now, I've got a couple of different ideas in mind for this. Um, so, for those of you that have never made a wearable before, you might want to skip this part. You can do it if you want, um, but it's... Um, it's just something extra that I'm throwing in there because I'm extra, right? So I'm thinking about putting oops, granny squares in along the spine with little Christmas trees on them. <coughs> okay. I have to sew this Christmas tree on. So I'm thinking about doing maybe three of these. 
possibly four. I don't know. I haven't figured it out yet. I've only got three days until this is supposed to come out. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to come out with this video first. Um, just so that you can get started on these. And then I'll come out with the back piece. And then I guess it would be um, the sides and the arms. And then the putting it together. You know, I don't know. We'll see how it goes. But what do you guys think? Um, I think this tree is really cute. Although I think the stump could have been a little bit longer because it doesn't really show. I don't know. Or I could have done it in a lighter color or something. Well, this is a light, pretty light color. It's just that my tree is so fluffy. <laughs> so, but anyways, you don't have to do this part. This is just something extra that I thought I'd throw in there. Um, and, uh, yeah. So, yeah, I just lost my train of thought. Mm -hmm. I've got way too many things on my brain. And I'm trying to fix you know finish this I've dropped everything right now like everything's on hold I'm focusing on this and I think the only way I'm going to be able to do this is if I split up the video so I hope you guys don't mind um it will give you a little extra time to get the pieces done before the final so that's what I'm working on guys yeah We'll see how it goes. Okay. on the tutorial and I'm going what the heck is in my ball of yarn I have no idea what this is from because I haven't used this yet <laughs> um, this is an 8 millimeter I'm using a 6.5 so I'm going hmm how did this get in here? <laughs> yeah. <sighs> Yarn life. Gotta love it. Hi, Yarn Bees. So, I'm a bit of... Blah, 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 blah. Okay. Good start. <laughs> I'm a bit of a mess today. Um, but, <clears throat> I got all of my little squares done. The video tutorial for this is done. Um, it's already up on the members chat, uh, mem members site, whatever it's called, my memberships. If you are not a member and you want to get all the videos or at all the tutorials first and some extra stuff, the membership button is down below. <laughs> it's only $2.99. Uh, so the members already have the tutorial for this. Um, and this is going to be the first video in the series for the Christmas cardigan that I'm doing with Jennifer um, from Cinnamon Stitches. <sighs> Jennifer sent me a, a message yesterday saying she's already almost finished her sweater. And it's only the 29th. Wow. 
I'm like, I don't even know if I'm halfway finished. So <clears throat> that's why I'm splitting it up into, you know, parts <sighs> because it's just unbelievable. Oops. And I've got so many projects sitting up here on the couch. It's crazy. It's, um, but they're all on hold until I can get this finished. So I've got like this mess of stuff right here. Hmm. Hi, Yarnabies. Guess what I did? <sighs> well, I redesigned the Willy Wonka and I sent it off and I got them back. The decals, that is. And I printed the shirt, but I also designed two others. And I want to know what your thoughts are on them. Okay. Okay, so first of all, I'll show you. I know somebody had asked me if I did the Willy Wonka in more masculine colors. And that's going to be a possibility later on. So here it is. Oop. Okay. Can you see that? Ooh, camera's trying to focus. So there you go. <clears throat> so yeah, so I finally got them done. Or got that one done anyway. <clears throat> and I think that, that works out way better. So there's that one. And then I did this one for the menzies. But I mean women can wear it too, right? <laughs> Okay. Why is the rum always gone? I'll show it up close a little bit so you can see the um, background of the lettering. And a little scully. So I did that one. And that one's, my sister and my brother-in-law have a pirate themed bathroom. And they've got some creations in there that I've done. Whoa, rolling away. I tell you, these new wheels that I put on this chair, the roller skate wheels. Yep. <laughs> My chair skates away from me all the time. <sighs> anyway, okay, so there's that one. And then, whoop. and then I did up this one. This one's just being really cheeky. And, you know, because we have those kind of days, right? So, it says, punch today in the face. <laughs> so you can see the background of the lettering. So, yeah. So I did that one too. Whoop. You know, I have to say... I am so angry at Canada Post right now. I'm so angry. I mean, everybody that has a business, online business or other, any kind of online ordering has gone to a stop. Unless you want to pay three times the amount for, let me bring it down a little bit. Um, three times the amount for shipping at a courier. I called a courier. I cannot believe this, you guys. I don't know what it's like in the States, but in Canada. What the heck is that? Hold that thought. You know how I'm saying I'm going through it with this cold? Yeah. Broke all the blood vessels right here from blowing my nose so much. So I had, I, I just went and put a little bit of makeup on it so it's not so distracting. <laughs> anyway, I called Canada Post, or not Canada Post, I called a courier and I talked to them and I wanted to know how much it would cost to send something to the States or other countries um, compared to Canada Post. You guys, they said that it was a, what was the wording he used? Oh, I can't remember the wording now. 
standard, standard procedure to charge twice the amount. They basically, they, if you're, okay, for example, the Forest Guardian that's going to New Zealand, which I still haven't mailed because I can't, because I've already paid for the shipping for Canada Post. Yeah. Um, if you're, like, my package is n not even a pound, okay? It costs around $80, I think it was, was it $60 or $80 to ship this out, all right? The standard standards for the courier service is a four pound minimum, um, which means it doesn't matter if your package is a mailer or a package that's under five, four pounds, they charge you a minimum four pounds. So they figure out how big your package is. They say it's four pounds because in their mind, something that is width by length, by depth, by whatever, that number equals at least four pounds. No, it doesn't. <clears throat> you could be sending fiber fill. Four pounds, automatic. I was so angry. It would have cost me $300 to send it to New Zealand. Excuse me? You can rotate. Um, I, I just couldn't even, I got so angry at him on the phone. And he said, it's just the standard nicest. I don't give a crap what the standard is. That's highway robbery. That's, that's ridiculous. And I won't be using any of your courier services again. Um, <clears throat> I don't understand how Timu can do uh, um, free shipping, how Etsy is trying to force people to do free shipping, and how Amazon, for the most part, if you have Prime, doesn't no shipping costs. I don't know how they do it because for us people, we have to pay four pound minimum on everything. I could be sending a pair of earrings, four pounds. What? Oh, it's ridiculous. Um, I should probably correct that. They have a, a list of um, measurements and they tack a price onto that, whatever those measurements are. Um, so whatever the measurement price is, is what you get charged, regardless of how much it weighs. I just, I don't understand. I don't understand how they can do that. That's just, that's nuts. So as much as I bitch and complain about Canada Post, um, I'm going to stick with them because they do poundage as well. Uh, the only difference is, is that they do small packet and large packet or regular packet or whatever it is. So if you're sending something in a mailer, like a documents or something like that, <clears throat> it's a different price than if you were sending something that's like, say, this size, right? Um, but shipping costs through Canada Post is still really high but it's a hell of a lot cheaper than the courier services. And that's with a business account and, and any kind of, uh, um, I was going to say coupons, but, uh, discounts for being a business. It's crazy. It's absolutely crazy. Somebody needs to stop this crap. I mean, I don't understand. Anyway, Okay, not going to talk about that anymore. So the whole point behind me talking about this is I'm making these t-shirts and stuff and I'm making my stuffies, I'm making my sweaters and everything and I can't even ship it. If you guys even wanted to buy it, I can't ship it to you. 
out of good conscience because conscience because the shipping for a courier is massive. Which it and the thing is too, if you guys are sending me something, then it's still cheaper than if I was sending something to you. I don't get it. I don't get it. And it's still expensive for you guys to send stuff here, right? Like Chris just finished sending out my box of yarn that I had, I paid, I can't even remember how much it was, 160 or some odd dollars for this package or for this box. <clears throat> so, and then we won't even get into the whole tariff thing that's going on in the States. <sighs> you know... We are now getting charged, and I'm sure you guys have already heard about it. Canada and, and Mexico is now getting charged 25% uh, tariffs. So I don't know what that's going to mean for us shipping packages or getting packages. Um, I don't know if that's just for businesses or if that's for, I don't know. It's weird. It's going to be crazy. Um, but that's a whole other story. <laughs> so anyway, I just wanted to show those to you. And um, don't forget um, that on December 1st, I have the first part of the tutorial coming out for the sweater. Uh, a couple days later, I'll have the second part coming out. I'm working on the third part right now. Look at that. Look, I, can you believe? I went to put a uh, thing of wood in the fireplace yesterday and a piece of wood went right into my finger. Oh, let's punch today in the face. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to go. Okay, so that's the end of this video. And I guess the next time I see you uh, will be on the 1st. I'm going to try really hard to do Vlogmas or something of the like. I might not get every day, but we're going to try. And George just walked in the door, so it's going to get loud. So I'm going to go. Okay. I love you all. Bye.